What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. It is officially fall. And if it's not fall when you're watching this, then I apologize because it's the best season ever. It's one of my favorites. And what we're making today is going to be a pumpkin cranberry scone. And I don't know about you all, but I had a unhealthy obsession with pumpkin scones at Starbucks whenever I was not vegan. They were like gold. If you've ever had any of their pumpkin scones, you will know what I'm talking about. So what we're making today is gonna to be the pumpkin cranberry. We're adding cranberries to it. Now the pumpkin scones that I'm used to doesn't have any fruit in it, so I'm hoping these are gonna be good. I have high hopes because I love pumpkin. And if you're watching this, you probably do too. So, as always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below in the description. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing you want to do is get your fresh cranberries. If you can't find fresh and you only have the frozen, you want to thaw them out a little bit. So just put them in a bowl like this, put some hot water over them, and let them sit there for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And before you start choppity chopping, go ahead and set your oven to 350. Now you want to get four teaspoons of flax seeds and grind them up. We're not done with the prep. Still got one more thing to grind. You want a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Before we start mixing stuff, go ahead and grab two cook sheets and prep them. So either line them with foil or parchment paper or just grease them up. Whatever you want to do. I just bought these, so I don't want to screw them up too much. So I'm going to put some foil on it. Now it's mixing time. Grab a large bowl. And we're going to sift together our all-purpose flour, whole wheat pastry flour, baking powder, baking soda, sugar, cinnamon, ground ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and salt. And if you have any other spices that you want to throw in there, just go ahead because I'm pretty sure we put the entire pantry in there at this point. Now we're gonna chop in our vegan margarine. You wanna get the cold because we're gonna chop them in with a knife, incorporate it, and we're gonna get it all crumbly. Now we're gonna set this aside and grab a medium bowl because we're gonna mix some of the wet ingredients. We're going to whisk together the ground flaxseed, soy milk or rice milk. Now we're gonna add the pumpkin, one and a half cups. So you're not using this entire can. Ugh. Now add the molasses and the lemon zest. And lemon zest. And we're gonna stir this until it's completely incorporated. Now on to the big bowl. We're gonna make a well in the center and we're gonna put in our wet mixture. And we're gonna fold this in. And then once it gets mostly incorporated, we're gonna add our cranberries. And as they always say, be careful not to over mix. Now you wanna grab your two pans and you're going to divide the mix equally among the two into one big ball. I cannot believe I just did that. Ugh. Now what we're supposed to do is form a circle just over an inch thick. We're gonna flatten it out. Now you're supposed to get a really sharp knife and you wanna cut each circle into six to eight wedges. You wanna cut all the way through. I don't have a good feeling about this. Well, crap. I used to have a brush. You're supposed to brush a little bit of the soy or rice milk on top of these scones, and I don't know where my brush went. So we're gonna use a paper towel, because we're sophisticated like that. Give it a good spank. Now, we're gonna put a dollop of pumpkin seeds on top. We're gonna press them down. Now these are the raw or green pumpkin seeds, the papitas. I feel like these are gonna taste good, but probably look ugly. All right, now that we're done, we're gonna throw them in the oven for 30 to 34 minutes. Fun fact, did you know that pumpkins have around 500 seeds and every single part of the pumpkin is edible? The leaves, the stems, ooh. The skin, of course. The seeds, you know that. The flesh inside, you know that as well. Also, there are over 45 different varieties of pumpkin. All right, we're about halfway through, so we're gonna flip the trays just to make sure they're cooking properly. 
smells delicious. 30 minutes is up. We're gonna stick a knife in it, comes out clean, then we're probably good. Came out clean. So they said that the edges are gonna be lightly browned, or they should be, which they are. So I'm gonna leave them in there for a couple more minutes. But I'm gonna turn it off. Let's take it out. All right, if you can do it, you have to wait five to 10 minutes before you cut into it again. Because the first cut was just a preliminary cut. Then we're gonna get in there and actually dig in there. Now, you wanna put them on a cooling rack to cool the rest of the way, if you have one. All right, let's try it. So these are a little bit more moist than I was expecting them to be. They said in the cookbook that if you want to make them a little bit more drier, like the Brits do, then you want to leave it in the oven for probably 10 more minutes. It's more cakey almost. These are really good. This is how you do it. The cranberries add a nice little tartness to it. There's a great pumpkin flavor. I would eat all of these. The only part left up to you is how firm you want them. I mean, they're keeping their shape. It's not like they're super loose or anything. Leave them in the oven for another five, 10 minutes if you like your scones a little bit more dry. Otherwise, they're delicious. I promise you, if you like pumpkin scones and if you like pumpkin flavored stuff, you will love these. I would 100% make these again. If you liked what you saw, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to subscribe and comment and share and all that good stuff. I will see you all in the next episode.